A little after 8 a.m. It's 8.18 now. It's probably about 8.15, 8.16. The negative tech zapper. Just for the record, John Michael Meredith is not my brother. That's the other Amy Brown. I'm the Amy Renee Brown Adamson Green. Both the colors are mine. The other one that's mix and match is because the other Amy Brown, her sister's name is Kim Pounds, and Amy Pounds was going by Amy Green. So that whole little circle that they had to mix and match, I caught a bunch of stuff on Spencer County GIS being mix and match. My name, if you type in Amy R. Green, it comes up with my two parcels here in Hatfield, and it comes up to an Amy L. and a David in Santa Claus. That's just the tip of the iceberg of the stuff that's mix and match and done wrong. The dates and times of when my kids were doing the worst things and saying stuff like taunts from these other girls, Whoever it is, if it's them, or if it's someone setting them up, I'm going to tell you right now, that guy that came around here, I'm pretty sure that might have been John Michael. I'm not 100% sure. But I told him not to come on my property with his long tree trimmer and his neon shirt, looking like he was some kind of working crew, I guess he thought. And he trespassed on my porch again after that. He was just, there was something was not right. Whoever that guy was, it was shifty. And to not respect my words and to come on my porch and so when I grabbed my camera this has been a couple years ago I grabbed my cell phone camera and was getting to the front porch to get him and he couldn't see in my house or could he because he took off running before I got there it looked like he might have been using something to take pictures off of what I had on the front up here I'm not 100% sure I know my Kid Rock ticket is faded now from 2002 but I have enough evidence to back it up if some of those coincidences connect back to that the bad parts have to go back over 30 years ago and that missing necklace so lo and behold, I have another missing necklace, and it better show up. I guess I'll put an ad in the Journal Democrat. I guess they'll let me call up there and pay for it over the phone. Because that's my necklace, and someone's up my ass so far that I know they know exactly where that necklace went, and it better turn back up. It's the Star of David, the six-pointy thing. It almost looks like a pie symbol, the symbol that's one of those uh, spiritual symbols in the middle of it. And it's really nice gold. I'll never be able to replace that. I only got it because it was on sale like 80% off when Sears was having all those big sales. And I loved it. I kept having connections to that at the time. I had it out again because of the stuff going on in Israel and connecting spiritually and praying for that. So if I'm trying to do something good with that and somebody took that necklace, they're going to wish they hadn't. Because I guarantee you someone knows where my necklace is. There's a video of me wearing it not long before it disappeared on here.